So I think some of the important considerations when you're looking at employee engagement is first employee involvement. You really want to determine what matters to employees and how to get them engaged. And the best way to do that, of course, is with any measurement system. You also want to look at the organizational culture and de develop an engagement tool, an engagement measurement that is consistent with the organizational culture. And of course, an action research approach where you're really looking at getting employees involved, taking it to the grassroots level, having them um, have honest and frank conversations around what really is important to them and how that uh, engagement can best be manifested. Okay, with regard to social media employee policies, uh, it's very important because look, social media is ubiquitous now and from an employer's perspective, the best thing you can do is to have a very clear policy Communicate it up front with your employers uh, and with any policy and particularly with social media policies, you want to make sure that you train both your employees as well as your supervisors on the policy, what's acceptable, what is not, do's and don'ts if you will, and enforce it consistently. Uh, well, if there's only one thing I'd recommend for um, employers, medium and large size employers supporting healthcare reform, be to really have an excellent consultant. Uh, consultants can really help you understand um, the actuarial value standpoint of the plan, the affordability of the, of the plan, uh, what your options are, how to communicate those options to your employees, and also the best funding mechanism, whether it be fully insured or self-insured if you haven't been already. Um, number one. The second thing I'd also say is, as well as also look at cost containment items, whether it be transparency tools, wellness, or employee engagement opportunities as well. We've seen a lot of our clients that have saved a tremendous amount of money by offering those opportunities to their employees. I think there are three things that should be kept in mind um, around engagement. Um, first, you know, first and foremost, I think the goal of any company and HR in particular is it's attracting, developing, retaining their unfair share of their best talent. But once we have employees in the door, we need to keep them. So I think less is more. Less is more. Number one, focusing on the vital few priorities that that matter most to the organization and the employees. So find out what those priorities are. Maybe a pulse check survey, whatever that might be. Find out what the priorities are, number one. Number two, get employee participation. So whether it's an action planning team, but get employees to, to buy in and to support and be a part of the creative solutions around addressing engagement programs. And then finally, once um, you know, once you've done some action planning, um, you know, market and promote those engagement programs, um, and and tie those 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 programs. I think to the bottom line success of the organization. Uh, the the most important thing is that your engagement and development programs are aligned to the needs of the organization as well. And we ultimately want to pull and grow our employees while the organization changes and grows. And that's 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 sort of the snapshot goal I think of HR, but also of organizations that are desiring to keep their employees. It would be to use the one-year delay in implementation for the employer mandate from January 1st, 2014 to January 1st, 2015 to their advantage. And employees are currently using social media. So we need to be cognizant of the fact that they're out there, they're utilizing these tools, and at this point they may be flying blind. So a policy will enable them to understand the company point of view. Most of it is common sense. What should you do to respect others? What should you do to present yourself and your company in as best light as possible? So as much as we worry about employees putting forth the wrong message and doing things wrong on social media, things that will cast the organization in the wrong light, another piece that we really need to embrace is ways to encourage people to present the organization in the right light. And while the policy needs to cover our assets, at the same time the policy needs to uh, educate people about the right way to do things. Well, every mid to large size employer is going to incur certain taxes, fees, and costs, new costs, uh, due to the, some of the benefit mandates that are coming due to health care reform. So everybody's going to have to sit down and be looking at the cost equation. And two things I would recommend for mid-size and small and, and large employers are A, is there an opportunity to do some type of alternate funding arrangement where you possibly take on some of the risk of the insurance to help mitigate your overall cost? There's a lot of options out there today that weren't available even a year ago to employers of that size around alternate funding type vehicles that'll help them 
fund those additional costs. And the second is choice. You know, setting uh, some type of defined contribution possibility for your employees at a certain level of benefit, but then giving them the opportunity to buy up to the benefit that is most valuable to them. And not limiting the choice maybe typically where you have to one or two, but offering maybe six or seven choices where you define the cost, but the employee is not restricted by that cost in terms of benefits if they choose based on the value of what they need to spend more out of their pocket. company's health plan comes up for renewal. Now is the time to be asking these questions. Do your employees have access to the most doctors in the area? Do they have wellness programs that help with smoking, stress, and nutrition? And do they have resources like these at their fingertips? How will you balance the benefits and the cost to help everyone get what they need? Regardless of your company's size, budget, or location, getting a good value may be an important part of the right health plan solution. You get more value with a health plan that provides a nationwide network, a focus on wellness, and resources that help to provide convenience and ease. Check your renewal date. Whether you're ready to switch to a new health plan today or a couple of months from now, United Healthcare is here to help. Our goal is to provide more value simplified administration, and bottom line results through innovative solutions. United Healthcare.